hello it's tuesday and i've got some new equipment a selfie stick that turns into a tripod it's just <laughs> investment in the channel for you now if you've never walked around with a phone on a stick talking to yourself i highly recommend it <laughs> don't feel self-conscious at all i'm sure nobody will pass comments but anyway i've got a drill session to do and you'll be able to see a tiny bit more of me from now on probably won't be able to hear me but <laughs> we have to make sacrifices i'm sure you'll cope catch you in a bit What's that mate? Why am I running around filming myself? Don't tell me you've never heard of a running YouTuber. What planet are you from? Oh, you thought they all came from Guildford? Yeah, well, I suppose that is a fair assessment. Maybe I better move to Guildford. First cadence drill done, 98 meters. Need to beat that on the next one. 110 meters on the second one. 120 meters. And for the first time ever, my watch buzzed <laughs> during the drill and said, Cadence 200. <laughs> Yay, high score. Right, I had to squeeze through the little gate at the end of that one. I'm gonna jump through, bash my nipple on the left hand post and <laughs> came through unscathed. So uh, that's the cadence drills done. Thankfully, I don't think uh, running with the selfie stick has uh, affected me running form at all, so everything seems fairly normal. The observant among you may notice that the distance is slightly less with me stopping and filming periodically during the cooldown run. But hey ho, I'll jog a bit further now, get some work done, and then walk the rest of the way home. Hey guys. Thursday already, if you can believe it, time flies. And today 
it's going to be the first time doing speed repeats. Speed, 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 speed. So the drills have finally changed slightly. <laughs> the cool down, the warm up, sorry, is uh, five minutes rather than ten today compared to the usual drill session. And then we've got the usual four lots of cadence drills, four lots of acceleration gliders. So he hasn't swapped one for another, he's added this to the end, uh, as Mr. Galloway. So then there's speed repeats, which is four times uh, running at a, a set pace range for 400 meters and then you walk for a minute in between and you do all that four times so we're uh, four by 400 meters with a break and i think the pace is in the range of about 5 11 to 5 23 minutes per kilometer so i'm just going to keep 5 15 in my head and try and stay around there uh, with the short warm-up it means i'm not quite at the trails so I'm going to do a bit of a walk jog, uh, having finished the warm up, it's saying cadence drill next. Get myself into a safe place to do the drills and uh, I'll start from there. too fast. 5.15 is pretty slow. I kept saying like 4.30, 4.40. Too fast. Try better on the next one. Okay, got through the rest of the uh, speed repeats. Finally got the hang of the pacing towards the end there. Managed to stick around 5.15, 5.20 for most of the last one. <laughs> Took a bit of time to get there. Um, but uh, yeah, just doing the 10 minute cool down jog walk. Get me back home now, and uh, then we're done for Thursday. So yeah, enjoyed the first lot of speed repeats. Don't think I'll catch the train. I think I'm, uh, yeah, pretty well fried at this point. But uh, yeah, it's all good. I'll see you on Saturday, guys. Morning guys, it's Saturday, off early today, woke up at 5.40, but I had to go back to sleep, but it wasn't happening, so I got up just before 6.30, um, getting ready for today's long run. Now, the week before last, the long run was one mile, last week it was two miles, and today it's four miles. So, I'm sure if you spotted the pattern there, what I've figured out, that Coach Jeff is actually doubling the long run distance every week. We're on week five now, and there's 13 weeks in the plan. So I've worked out that the final long run is going to be 1,024 miles. Seems a bit daunting at this stage, but I'm sure Coach Galloway knows what he's doing. I've actually started thinking of some route ideas for that final long run. I am um, probably going to take advantage of the fact that you're meant to do run, walk, run, uh, on these long runs, so the walking break should kind of make it more manageable. Probably just have a steady, kind of slow jog walk down to Land's End. Knit back up to uh, John O'Groats. Might need a banana somewhere around the Scottish border. Um, probably take both of my uh, water bottles with me and then just make sure I'm covered. And then uh, back down from John O'Groats to where I live. Um, probably try and speed things up a bit at that point, you know, try and negative split the final 512 miles. And then, uh, yeah, back home, job done. Um, so yeah, should be a good workout that day. 
Uh, if that doesn't help me improve my 5k time then I don't know what will. So I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, the reason I'm doing my introduction inside today is it seems to be really windy outside. It's two degrees as well, so it looks rough. It's nice and sunny, but uh, yeah, a bit cold, rather windy. Chances of you being able to hear anything I'm saying outside today are slim to none, I'd say. So uh, yeah, with that introduction done and the finish getting ready, get out there and do this four mile or 6.44 kilometer run. Catch you later. any people about yet not quite as windy as I expected but uh, yeah just uh, in the middle of the warm up at the moment uh, crossing the railway bridge in a route uh, I don't think I've captured on my videos before so I get to see somewhere a bit different speak to you later This tree always used to have a rope swing on it, hence the remains of lots of ropes and hoses on the floor. Uh, looks like the branch they used to use has snapped off, so uh, no more of that. Saw a great big bird there, I don't know if you spotted it. Like some kind of giant eagle. Something you might see on Lord of the Rings.
not gonna lie, I've got no idea where I am. Just came out of there. There's a kind of widish trail down there. Don't know where that goes. There's a little one that leads into the woods there. It's like some kind of streamers hanging down from a wire or something over there. Now, well, I guess I'll check out both ways, see where we end up. Fishing pond. What who knew that there was a fishing pond here? Well, that's an eye opening discovery. I had no clue this was here. I'm only two and a half kilometres from home. I guess the uh, streamers are to scare the uh, giant eagles away from eating all the fish. The only thing that makes any sense. I have to love you and leave you for now guys, phone battery's on 3%, it was on 100 when I got up, <laughs> so the filming seems to have taken its toll, so I'll capture the exciting uh, shot of the watch on my wrist at the end, if there's still any battery left, it's down to 1%, so chances are slim, otherwise I'll catch you next week, thanks for watching guys.